trying to get a grip. You're grieving for your sister. It's not only dealing with my sister's loss, right? Somebody did this to her. I gotta find out who's responsible for her death. you have to eat. Well, let me see. Um, chili. You love my chili. I, I froze about a gallon of it last week. Beth, I don't want you going. <laughs> like defrosting chili is any trouble? Yeah, but your mom's in there, and I don't want to disturb her. No, she's going to stay in her room. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't I just go down to that Chinese place, that one down in the corner, and... I'll be right back, all right? It's just... Hey, that's gonna take longer than heating up some chili. Please. Huh? Just let me do this. You've done so much for me lately. I haven't done anything. No? <laughs> uh, who's been the one who's been there for me when I needed you? Helping me? Supporting me through all this? Anyone would have done the same. Yeah, well, no one else has. <sighs> Only you. I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have you in my life. Well, that was the longest execution in the history of the world. What? I thought you were never coming to back here. Unfortunately, I am. Well, the food was lousy. Tasted like sawdust. Why don't you fix me something different? Mother, I left you a perfectly good dinner. Good? God, it was ham. Have you ever known me to eat ham? Uh, yeah, last week, and oh. you loved it. No, no, no. That's because it was disguised in some kind of sauce, you know? No, you're wrong. <laughs> you mind telling me how I can be wrong about my own taste buds? You know what? I don't want to argue with you. Well, then why do you? You know, all you ever do is pick fights with me. Mother, here's the situation. Luis is going to be right back. He and I are growing closer and closer by the minute. So you think he's going to pop the question, huh? Huh? <clears throat> Don't hold your breath. He feels terrible, and he needs me to comfort him. <laughs> so I want you to go to bed and not make a sound. Don't you dare make a sound. Go. Luis, Luis, Luis. That's all you ever talk about. Oh, he's a wonderful man. You really think that he loves you? Huh? Yeah, I know he does. Well, you have got a short memory, little missy. I can remember him dumping you way back when you were a pretty little thing. He didn't dump me. Yeah. Well, he sure as heck didn't marry you, did he? Because of his family. <laughs> yeah, blame it on them. Mother, I'm not blaming anyone. Luis had a responsibility to them, that's all. But now things are different. Yeah, you're older. Luis and I are closer. Closer? No, he'll never love you. 
Mother, that is not true. He will never, ever love you. You know what? He does love me. And we're going to have a future together. You'll see. No, 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 Missy. You see, what I'm going to see is you ending up as a spinster pining away for Luis. Well, you guys never have a future together. I'll never be able to offer that to you. I know that because he doesn't know you, not the real you. What do you think he would do if I were to tell him the reason I have this walker, huh? Sure kill any chances of him ever loving you.